have another movie to talk about for the Everyone's a Critic Film Watching Challenge. Excuse the look today. It's kind of like swamp witch kind of look because it is a bit swampy out there. It's 90 something degrees. I spent the day at a splash pad. You know, standard excuses for why I look the way I look anyway. <laughs> So the prompt I'm going to be talking about right now is a cult classic and I picked Heathers because it's a movie I just adore and I'm trying to balance watching stuff I've never seen before with stuff I have seen before because I just don't have the time, especially in the summer, to be watching a ton of movies. So I'm here to talk about Heathers. And I had, it's been a little bit since I've seen it, but I've watched it many times. It's just a movie that it's one of those like comfort movies that I love to watch. And I can see why it's a cult classic. It has, um, it's like a teenage movie. It's like kind of a classic teenage movie in a lot of ways. But it also has so many other elements to it that make it horror-like. So you have, yes, teenage angst and you have people fitting in and you have all this bullying social stuff but on top of that you have murders like people are dying here and that uh starts out and of course spoilers as always starts out with the troubled teen played by christian slater who is basically disenfranchised with everybody and he thinks he found his soulmate uh but it doesn't go quite as planned, so she's along for the ride with him, but it starts getting a little bit too much for her. So, of course, you've got Winona Ryder playing Veronica, and so Heathers is named after the three Heathers that hang out and form this very exclusive group, which is Heather Chandler, Heather McNamara, and Heather Duke. And then Veronica joins their group, and she becomes a fourth Heather in a way but she doesn't quite fit in she's never really exactly fit in with them she's always been a bit different and she stands out as the outsider and it very much plays into that teen angst feeling the feeling of not knowing your place and not quite fitting in with people and how that ends up going and addressing like I said bullying I also thought this was a fitting movie to talk to because Shannon Doherty, who played Heather Duke, recently passed away, and uh, that's the, my favorite thing I've seen her in, so it's one that I really do need to give a rewatch. I just wanted to talk about it because it's been too long, and um, the this movie was pretty controversial because it deals with teen suicide. There's kids, like, the kids in it, they literally, they get away with murder. Like, Christian Slater's character, Jason Dean, was going to blow up the school. So it deals with stuff that's really dark that we really don't want to think about, especially in this day and age, I think, with all the things that go on in schools, the shootings, and all the bad stuff. It really is, you know, it can leave a bad taste in your mouth, um, which it did for one of the Heathers when she drank a concoction that contained a bunch of cleaning stuff, but it's a lot about a clique and how there's pressure to behave in a certain way when you're in a group, and I think that a lot of the horror elements really are horror because it does deal with kids being killed, suicide, you know, dangers at school, a lot of the things that really haunt us right now and are something that, like, you have fear, you know, when you, any there, whenever there's a news story about a school, what's going on? Was there a shooting? Was there a bomb threat? Is something bad going on? It really deals with some of the dark topics. And I think that's one of the reasons it was so controversial at the time, but also became so popular. And, you know, Veronica's character is very interesting because while she starts out very much like kind of quiet and just going along with the Heathers but very unhappy she really gets to see like it's fun for her at first and then people actually start dying and she gets freaked out so you can see that there's a lot of humanity there and then she actually ends up faking her own death 
at one point. So it's a very strange movie in a lot of ways. It's a very strange concept, but it was just, for me, it's very fun to watch. I don't, it shouldn't be maybe, but it is. There, with, despite all the dark themes, it's just, it's one of those movies that has so much nostalgia for me. So I will always love it.